So our first big breakthrough happened uh, about two or three years ago now. Um, and what we did is, at DeepMind, we use virtual environments like games as a training ground for testing our AI algorithms on. Games are the perfect training ground for this because, in a way, they're kind of microcosms of real life. Now, one way to uh, illustrate the complexity of the game is that there are no more board configurations in the game of Go than there are atoms in the universe. So there's 10 to the power 170 possible board configurations. So there's no way that you can solve this game through brute force calculation. So how do humans, human professionals, and the best player, human players cope with this enormous complexity in these two problems? Well, actually, they, use, they rely on their intuition and their instinct, much more so than chess players do. We played this match in Seoul, five-game match for a million dollars first prize, and uh, the whole of Korea basically came to standstill. At one point, um, every national TV broadcaster was broadcasting the match live, all, all of the different TV channels. So later on, the interesting thing about Go is that it's considered to be more than just a game in, in China and Japan and Korea. It's considered to be more like an art form, something more akin to poetry. In fact, Confucius wrote about Go as one of the four arts that had to be mastered by any true scholar. And one useful way to think about intuition is that it's implicit knowledge that has been acquired through experience, but it can't be consciously expressed or communicated. I think of AI as this incredibly powerful tool that will augment human ingenuity and unlock our true potential. But obviously, ultimately, we're not interested in just being good at games. We want to translate those algorithms into the real world and be useful and make huge impact on real world situations. We think that we could use these same algorithms uh, perhaps on entire national energy grids, um, which are in some ways much bigger versions of these uh, data centers. And my personal dream is that once we've cracked AI, what I'd like to do is use it to create AI scientists or AI-assisted science to help drive science and medicine breakthroughs as fast as possible.